So we're looking at now is the boot on sequence and the sequence of screens that it will automatically run when it is cold. So you see large text, small text, dialog boxes, uh, JPEG pictures, and logo. It cycles through those screens automatically. So now we're going to turn this unit off and set the oven to minus 30 degrees. Okay, so we're now set to minus 30. We will, uh, it is 9.25 a.m. Uh, we will come back and record the time that it hits minus 30. Okay, it is 9.50 a.m. You can see that the chamber is at minus 30. We're going to turn the unit on just for a minute so we can see that it's operating. Here we go. Power on. Keypad LEDs on. Display on. Window shell. And now it's going to cycle through the four screens. Logo. Large text, small text dialog box, JPEG picture. Okay, we're going to turn off and wait six hours now. Okay, okay it's now about 4.22 p.m. This unit has been soaking at minus 30 Celsius for about six and a half hours. So we are going to now turn the power on to the unit and see how it works. Here we go. Power is on. Keypad LEDs on, backlight on, enters window shell, now we'll start going through those four screens. Logo screen, text, dialog box, and a JPEG file. As you can see, the display responds with a slight delay, perhaps one or two tenths of a second, but if you were operating this, it is uh, plenty fast to be usable as is. So now we're going to leave it on to self-heat for about 10 minutes and then we'll take some more video. Okay, it's now been about 10, 11 minutes since the unit was turned on. The chamber is still set to minus 30. The door has not been open, but it has self-heated a little bit. And as you can see, the text, the display is responding quicker than it had been. Still a very slight perceptible delay so we're now going to turn off the chamber or set the chamber to room temperature and we'll check it again in about 10 minutes. It should be responding normally. Okay, we're back to room temperature and as you can see the display is nice and sharp and responds snappily as it should under normal conditions. That'll be the end of the test.